from New York to Canada Dances, and for today's video, I am so excited to be part of the unveiling of the Mermaids Mermaids. As soon as I heard that MJ was going to be making a mermaid brand, I was head over heels excited, and unexpectedly, about a month ago, I received an email from um, somebody at MGA asking if I wanted to take part in the reveal, and I said, absolutely, and then I sent them a picture of me and my toe. <laughs> so... I am so excited. So this was all sent to me for free by MGA, whatever's in this box. So thank you so, so much to them. And they were sent to me for the purposes of review. I still get to say my own opinions, but I need to let you guys know that this was sent to me for free before we get started. And I'm so unbelievably humbled and grateful to be part of an unveiling of a line like this. And it's one that feels so perfect to me. I love dolls with inset eyes. I love dolls with articulation. Obviously I love mermaids. So this is just perfect for me and I'm so unbelievably grateful to you guys for allowing me opportunities like this by um being part of the community on my channel it means the absolute world to me and I don't want to make you wait any longer let's meet the mermaids I have no idea who's in here I hope I hope more than one but I will be more than happy with just one and I wonder which characters we got too so the box is quite simple it's just this white box it says M which is the mermaids like graffiti look and then there's this little cutaway here and you can see it's just a white box. <laughs> I'm the one to be like, look, it's like, it has square sides, six faces, um, a lot of corners and edges. All right, and then, oh my God. <laughs> so inside we have this, oh, I was wondering why the panel was shaped like that. Look, it's a mermaid fin shape and it's like reinforced here too. Oh, this is so neat. <laughs> Oh, this is so cute. I wonder if they had to order this custom made. This is cool. Okay, and then there's this thing inside. Um, it has a picture of one of the mermaids, and that's the one I don't think we've seen yet, at least at the time of recording. Um, there were, you know how everybody's unveiling certain characters? Um, I'm part of round two of that, which is unveil the dolls on release day or something. Um, so this is Harmonique, and it says she is a pop star performer and no spotlight is enough. And it's so pretty so there's a sticker here yeah it's a sticker and it says mermaids mermaids and we have this tinsel i'm gonna get that out of the way and it says color chain oh so for the color is this a okay so this is like a little basin that we can put the dolls in because they have a color change feature and i'm really excited to test that out because i haven't seen it yet because i'm trying my best not to watch anybody's unveilings um and it's this really pretty like oh my god look at this thing i've seen stuff like this on amazon before and i've always wanted to buy it but i didn't know how it would look in person but look at this Oh my god, thank you MGA for sending me this. This is cool. Sorry, I was expecting dolls. I wasn't expecting like extra. Okay, um, the sticker is so cute. And I'm gonna show you this stuff up close now so that you guys can see all of the information. All right, so I was going to show you this anyway, but now it is a few days later. So what's going on? Basically, the release date has been pushed. So this is now inaccurate information. So if you're going to be sharing screenshots of this, make sure you include this updated information. So not only is the day that the pre-orders are up changed, but also the day that these are actually going to hit shelves has changed. So the currently known information is that pre-orders are going to open up on International Mermaid Day, and I will have the links in the description. Those links might not work right now, but they will work around release date. And then um, April 4th is the currently set time for them to actually hit shelves, but that's all I know at this time. I will have a pinned comment whenever I upload my next video, which is going to be about the pre-orders for these when they open up i will be posting an update so this is what the box looks like for the pr this isn't something that's going to be available to anybody but i know people would like to see it and then it has a sticker that says mermaids mermaids and it does have a color shift to it it's very pretty and my box has Harmonique on it specifically, but I believe the other boxes have other characters. I've seen the Kishiko box, but I don't know about any others. And these dates are incorrect again. And my box is specific to Harmonique, who is one of the characters that I actually got. I think this is like really cool. I'm excited about this. So I'm going to set this aside really quick so that we can see what else is in the box. So we have a group picture of everybody. So we have all five of the main characters for wave one right here and oh my goodness they're so pretty so i've seen shell and kishiko 
um, and Riviera unveiled. So cool. Alrighty, I'm gonna set this down and it slid. <laughs> and then there's this cardboard. Let's get this. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. That was so loud. Who do we get? Who do we get? Who do we get? Hopefully she's not upside down. Okay. Oh, it is upside down. Okay. Oh, this is Riviera. So here is Riviera in her box. Sorry, I had to cut away. I dropped a bunch of stuff. It's it's hard being a mermaid, you guys know. Um, so here's Riviera and it's advertising a color change feature, which I'm really eager to see what that looks like. Cause again, I have not seen it yet. And she has her guitar and the outfit's really, really cool. And the back of the box, which I don't think has been seen yet at all. It has a beautiful picture of all of them, which is that picture that they sent me as a printout. And it says mermaids, mermaids, beyond the waves, beneath the surf, into the deep blue, follow the fabulous fins of mermaids, mermaids to discover something amazing. And it says Riviera rocks out in the deep blue. And it has all these really pretty pictures of the dolls. This box design is so unique. I love the way the tail is like out of the box. I think it looks so pretty. First, let's see. Oh my God, we got, okay. So this is the, that, that explains why she was on my PR thing. So this is Harmonique. So this is the one I've not even seen like a leak of, like anything of her yet, except in that picture that I just saw in my little PR thing. Oh my goodness. She has a gemstone tail. If you guys didn't know, I'm a geologist. So it's kind of perfect. Oh my God. I love her outfit and her big bubble ponytail. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Okay, and then the back of the box is the same, but it says Harmony, pop star performer, no spotlight is enough. Oh my goodness. And now I'm going to cut away so that you guys can see the boxes up close. We're going to do like a quick sizzle reel of them and then we're going to get into unboxing them. So I will see you guys there. These boxes are definitely some of the most interesting boxes I've ever seen in a toy line before. They're really, really interesting. So the doll is mostly contained in the box, but then the tail is halfway sticking out so that you can feel it and look at it. And I think it's really, really nice. I'm not 100% sure what the intention of it is, but it is very cute. And you can see the back of the box with the beautiful picture of the prototype dolls. There is no art for this doll line, it seems, except for the logo, which is a little bit confusing, but the box presentation is still really, really pretty regardless. Riviera, I was not expecting to like this much, and I'll get into that a little bit more later throughout the review, but she's really, really impressive. The pictures did not do her justice, the original pictures that I saw anyway. And you can see her box design as well. I think it's a really, really nice package. I think it's going to really stand out on the shelf. And it's going to be really exciting when these finally hit stores. And we can actually see them on the shelves. And you can see all of the other beautiful mermaids. Including the ones that I did not get. <laughs> and then you can see just how long her hair is as well. It's a lot longer than the promo pictures. Which is a good and bad thing. And gosh, look at this beautiful doll. Stunning face. And so many cool accessories. Unboxing these dolls was a bit of a mystery, like I'm not 100% sure what I was supposed to do, but I cut the tape along the sides and then I cut a piece of the cardboard so that I could just pull the doll right out and then all I had to do was cut the ties and Riviera's hair is metallic nylon, which is one of my least favorite types of fibers and it's very, very curly so you have to be really, really careful when you take it out of the packaging and of course when you play with her as well. And then I'm a master by this point, so I got Harmony cried up out of here, and she wasn't as difficult because her tail, or her hair wasn't as curly. Right, so the first doll that we're going to be looking at, as you can probably guess from this, is Miss Riviera, and she is beautiful. I absolutely adore the face molds for these, and their eyes, they just look so stunning. And I want to note a couple of things from the unboxing of this one. First, her hair, you're going to want to be extremely careful, and I mentioned that in the part in the time lapse that you saw of how to unbox these dolls, but as you can see, she has this big, amazing hair that's super curly, and I love that, and I don't want to hurt that at all, so you're going to want to be really careful when you unbox her. She doesn't have box hair because it's definitely supposed to be like this, but just be mindful that you're going to want to take pretty good care of this. I'm going to attempt in another video to wash this out and see if I can get it a little bit more tamed, but I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic, and... It is styled in this kind of just a small ponytail up top with a braid and there's these two black braids on each side that are tied together over here and come down and the braids are also curled. It's very, very pretty. And 
oh my goodness look at her stunning face this is such a pretty doll and you can see her earrings too so this is a problem i have kind of across the board with dolls like this is that the earrings are really pretty and in certain poses they look good but other poses the shoulders or the clothes will knock the earrings off the ears and that's not necessarily an issue it's more of just the way that the doll is shaped unfortunately but they're so cool and they actually do hold in place really well because they have a cuff here that it doesn't like press into her ear but it does actually hold on pretty nicely to the end of her ear and this one is two safety pins with a chain up to the cuff and then this one is just like a chain that's kind of swirled around and she has this um kind of like a opal scaly jacket with little spikes on it you can see the spikes and it's really really nice piece and the inside is actually fully lined as well with the same fabric it's a super bulky nice piece and it has a working belt that you could shut it with with the buckle which is really impressive as well and there's just so much jewelry on these dolls which is really striking to me so she has three separate or two separate necklaces one is a combination of two necklaces in silver you can see that that this one and then there is another necklace here that is a kind of darker metal color and all of these pieces have metallic paint on them they're not metal but not that i expected them to be metal and one of her earrings was trying to come out she has this little tank top that has a what i believe is a faux bra underneath and it says mrmd to mimic acdc but it says mermaid essentially and it looks really really pretty on her i really like her and um there's also a color shift on the shirt and you can really actually see it on camera really nicely it is pink to blue and i think it looks phenomenal attempted to mimic this makeup look i didn't do all the blue though in the shine i think this face paint is exceptional i had no i have no idea how they did this on a mass-produced scale but it's just stunning and i really love the inset eyes as well they're like a kind of a gray color super pretty gray grayish bluish greenish i have no idea what to call it um and i took the jacket off and you can see the rest of the shirt there and you can also see how the arm and hand molds look on these dolls and she does have a molded on glove and it's actually really nicely molded on and you can see how it looks and the hands are i really like the little pose they're in i think it's versatile and i think it looks really pretty on them and she has this little harness thing made out of that same opal material as the jacket and it has these jump rings on it too it's a really really interesting nice piece uh and it velcros on so you don't have to worry about doing any oh sorry i shouldn't have turned the head like that um so you don't oh and there's the profile of the head by the way very pretty you don't have to worry about like undoing any of the jump rings and it's a really nice piece but if you don't like it, it comes right off and this is what it looks like up close Alrighty, and then we can look at her body mold a little bit closer. So they have a very different body from any other doll I've ever seen. As you can see, they have a very narrow like uh, chest and stomach, and then they get really, really large at the hip. And I think, I think it's a nice body mold, and it does allow quite a bit of mobility, but not enough for the dolls to sit, unfortunately. Um, and then another issue I'm having is that I can't get these out. I'm gonna try with like wire cutters, not wire cutters, but like pliers to pull them out and see if that'll work. Otherwise I'll just cut them, but I don't want them in there because I'm worried they are preventing mobility a little bit. So this is something that happens commonly and you can see it in the Rainbow High Dolls in a lot of places. They are sacrificing mobility to have a like more visually appealing area i guess so instead of carving this out really harshly they've opted to leave it like this and i do understand that i do i would prefer if they did have the the ability to sit but i do love that they actually have a chest joint that is super mobile um and allows for a lot of really nice posing and in theory since these dolls remain mermaids all the time the idea is probably that you are going to be doing more poses like ooh, that's actually a really pretty pose hold on do you see that that's so pretty. So yeah, you can get a lot of like swimming play and swimming poses with these dolls, but you can't get the sitting pose. I do hope that in subsequent lines, they do allow the capability for a sitting pose. Um, and this is what the tail from the back looks like. So her tail is kind of meant to look like denim almost with the way that the it's molded, but it's also this super cool holographic and she has buttons all down the middle and everything is really nicely painted. 
one thing I will say is that the tails don't feel like you're probably expecting them to and let me demonstrate <laughs> so they're very much like a hard harder plastic material so I would be a little bit worried that they might scratch pretty easily um, and you can see that mold there and this mold actually has like a lot of range so both the chest alone and this have kind of like a ball joint in them so you can move them quite a bit um, and I'm going to show you the back as well to show you the mold there all right back to here so you can see all of the really nice painting and the gorgeous color shift in the tail it's from purple to blue and I really 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 like it and the mold is super impressive like where all the wrinkles and stuff are it's really nice and then the end of the tail is definitely the coolest part each of these dolls has a really really cool fin and hers is this really neat I don't even know how to describe it it's fin shaped but it has more angles to it to make it look kind of like an instrument case I believe that's what they're going for here so they it has all these like metal brads along it and they're all really nicely painted like there's no paint defects on this at all and I think it's really well done and then the back is also fully painted in places that it should be um, but it is less detailed than the front, of course, and you can see her hair better. I'm really excited because the next part of this video, we're going to be putting these dolls in water. A guitar, which has a clear strap so that you can put it on her, which I'll show you in just a moment. And it's a purple guitar and it's textured and all the paint is really well applied. It's only two colors. There's no extra paint on it, but I think that's more than enough for the design that it seems like they're going for. All right, so here she is holding her guitar. I opted to pull it over her head instead. You could probably pull it over the tail, which would actually be easier um, because I, I have a lot of trouble with these things sometimes, but it has a clear vinyl strap and here's what she looks like playing it. And it's actually really easy to get a like realistic looking pose here, which is super cool. And yeah, this is just really nice and the details on it make it actually match with her, I think. And I don't mean like the colors match, I mean the amount of detail makes it look like something in her world and not just like a cheap thing that she's holding that goes to another doll, if that makes sense. And this is super pretty. Super pretty. And look at her face. Uh, the posability of these dolls reminds me a lot of if you've ever had a Wild Hearts Crew doll or a Project MC Squared doll, that's kind of how moving the joints feels. I know that isn't going to mean something to everyone, but the joints feel different when you pose them to a lot of other dolls. And they're pretty good like most of them are pretty fair in their articulation so i'm not mad at it and yeah this is beautiful i think she looks cool and this this um under this chest joint that she has in addition to the hip joint that she has makes her so poseable and it's so satisfying to do subtle changes because that is a completely different pose than this like it has a completely different feel to it and i feel like i'm gonna have so much so much fun with that and now i'm gonna be setting riviera down in the rainbow high pool so that we can look at harmonique up close so next we're going to be looking at harmonique who is so beautiful oh my goodness these dolls are blowing me away i really liked how riviera had all that glitter on her cheeks though i kind of wish that was a thing throughout the line but regardless she looks so cool look at those eyes i really love the eye makeup look i think they did a fantastic job on it and the glossy lip as well she has blue eyes and I think a different eye color would look better, but I'm not sure, and I'm not a professional designer either. Uh, and the pink hair is so pretty. It's in this bubble ponytail, and I can feel how soft it is. It's definitely nylon, like the Rainbow High Dolls have, and it's so soft, and there's absolutely no product in it at all. I desperately want to take the hair down, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna wait until I can get another one of these dolls before I do that. Her, like, front bang things are all gelled, and they are a darker pink, and just really really nice it's weird because on the instructions there's a little thing that says you can braid your doll's hair if they have long bangs and it has a picture of harmonique i don't know what they're implying there i i'm not sure uh yeah, like yeah i know i can braid them but why are you telling me this i don't know uh so so pretty i know that gel is going to come off as soon as it goes in the water also i do want to note that the gel is a lot less like harsh and rock feeling than rainbow high hair gel um which isn't saying too much but it basically feels like um just a less harsh gel and I hope it is different because it's really nice uh she has these pearl upside down teardrop shape earrings and they are all just one color in white but they're very pretty and you can see her little headset because she's a pop star by the way she's a pop star it's like fully detailed and painted and it's a really nice mold and it's staying on really well oh it's definitely like rubber banded in place or something but I'm gonna be leaving that I'm never taking that out so that it actually stays 
I just can't get over how pretty their faces are. I think it's something you have to see in person to see if it's for you. I know a lot of people aren't into inside eyes and more realistic looking faces, but I don't know. I just, I really like these. Um, her top is kind of like a crop top and she does have a painted on swimsuit underneath, which you can't really see right now. I'm going to be taking her top off so that I can show you guys um, the articulation as well. Uh, and you can see the big poofy sleeves, which are super cool. And they're sheer and they're pink. They have this vague reminiscence to Ariana Grande, but I don't really know if that's intentional. I mean, maybe. Um, oh, I also forgot to tell you guys about this little metal. It's just like a gray plastic hair thing. And it's the same color as the headset. And she has... Oh, are they rubber bands? Yeah, these are like rubber bands, but they match as well. And there's three of them. And then... Oh, no, sorry. There's all of them. All of the rubber bands on the hair have that. And it looks really cool. I really like that. It's so pretty. Um, and the top, it's like a crop top, sort of the shape of how um, Jasmine's top fits from Aladdin, if that makes any sense. Because uh, it does end here. There's just this uh, corset thing as well. And the big poofy sleeves, which are the biggest Ariana inspiration that I can see in this doll. And I'm not sure if that's even that. That's just the only place I've seen it. And then these long sheer sleeves. And she does have a molded on bracelet situation underneath, which I will show you guys once I get the shirt off of her and she has this corset and this harness thing i love this harness it has these like they're not metal beads but they look like metal beads and they're really really nice and the corset is cut or this is an underbust is covered in rhinestones it's so gorgeous i want one of these for when i'm in my mermaid tail that's really really cute and i love the um like opalescent material that they chose for this little piece so and it also has a jump ring i really like all the different harnesses the mermaids are wearing because i don't know i just feel like that's something mermaids would totally actually wear and then this belt is that same opal oh hello hold on sorry i want to show you i didn't realize it was connected so it actually has a little bag connected and it goes down and then wraps around the tail again which is so cute but we're going to be taking it off so that we can look at the tail itself as well as the underbust. So this is the underbust piece all alone and it's so pretty and it is separate from the top so you can wear, you can have her with or without it and I love the rhinestones on it. I just recommend if you put these in water you take off a lot of these pieces before you do that. Uh, oh and the choker. It's so pretty. So so pretty. So cool and you can see this thing. I'm still not sure how to get it out. And you can see some of the range of motion here. Really, really nice joint in the tail. I just wish that it was carved out a little more so she could sit. Um, and then the tail is so pretty. It has less going on, but I honestly love it. It's very simple and it's prismatic and the, the mold is really nice on it. It's very, very pretty. Love it. It looks like a, like a cut gemstone. It's so gorgeous. And then the fin is just kind of this is the most traditional looking one but it's a bit jagged on the edges and like um asymmetrical to look more like like crystals i feel like which is so cool and now i'm going to cut away and when we return i'm going to show you um what she looks like without the top on as you can see she does have a painted on top it's super non-intrusive so it shouldn't show in any outfits unless they're sheer but it makes it where she can wear a sheer outfit like this um and i really like it and it's in the shape of you know just a typical bikini top it's very pretty and it's with this really nice sparkly paint and i really like this because if you were to take this doll into water which i'm definitely going to be doing you wouldn't want to get the fabric wet necessarily and you definitely don't want to get a lot of the other stuff wet but you could still have the doll like this where she would be totally safe and i think that's awesome and it looks so good and you can see the underbust joint which is one of my personal favorite doll joints that is almost never included and it has a really fantastic range of motion and as you can see you can get like just poses that you would never be able to get otherwise when you have the underbust joint. It really adds so much, even though underbust joints tend to not have as much mobility in them. And then the hip joint is really good, really impressive. And it would be even better if the tail were carved out a little bit more. Um, and I really like the stomach mold as well. Yeah. Uh, oh, and then her bracelet. And the little rings. I love the rings. So pretty. And... As much as I don't necessarily like molded on jewelry all the time, I agree with it in a line where you're supposed to put the dolls underwater because any jewelry that's not 100% perfectly attached to the doll is very is going to be very prone to falling off. And if these are meant to be played with in the bathtub or in the pool or take them to the beach, you don't want that to happen with the small doll jewelry. 
Alrighty, now I'm going to, oh, one more thing. She does have a purse, looks like this, and it's a hard plastic. It's, so you can't like pull it open anymore, but it is open, you could totally put things in here, and it has these shell-shaped handles as well as this strap that she can hold it with that is, it looks more braided than like a chain, but I suppose it could be like a braided chain type thing. Hey everyone, it's Reacts Canada Edmunds, and today I brought my friends Harmony and Riviera here out to this frozen lake. And then I remembered that their color changes in hot water. So, um, enjoy the beautiful sights of these beautiful girls. I'm freezing, so we're going to go find a bit of a warm place. See you guys there. I brought the mermaids out to their own personal sauna, so here they are. This is Harmonique. Before she goes in the water, you can see she's a darker color, and then once you get her in the water, she changes to a white color. I wanted to show you guys the color change gradually, but it happens so suddenly that it's really difficult to do so. Riviera's color change is not as extreme. It's hard to tell here, but in this next clip, you can see her underwater, and this is just in a warm bath. It's not too hot for my hand to be in, and then I dump cold water on her, and it goes back to being darker, and then here's just some pretty footage of Harmonique under the water and you can see how her white tail actually still complements her outfit colors really beautifully actually. I think it matches really well with her hair ties and um, she's definitely my favorite of the color changing. The mermaids for a swim and had so much fun but unfortunately almost none of this footage ended up being usable but I thought I'd include some anyway. All right so that's it for the mermaids mermaids doll review. I'd like to remind you guys that I did receive this product for free for the purposes of review. I was not compensated or told what to say in this review. I am giving my honest opinions on these dolls and after playing with them for about a week, this is what they're looking like. I did take off a lot of pieces of their clothing because I truly think they shine a lot more when they're much more simplified. And it also allows you to play with them more because they have really nice articulation that you can't use when they have the big bulky jackets on. The earrings fall off really easily, which I'm not a big fan of. And my biggest complaint about these is that Riviera's hair, it is so beautiful. The design is gorgeous, but it does not last if you get it wet. I will give them credit. It does say in the instructions not to get the hair wet, but these are mermaid dolls. We know what's going to happen. People aren't going to read the instructions. They're going to take them into pools and bathtubs, or they're going to read the instructions and take the calculated risk anyway. So I do hope that maybe in the future they shorten her hair, because I do think this hair texture and even partially the length could work, but floor length is a little bit too much, in my opinion, and it's just because of the actual viability of this doll, because this hair is not going to last very long, especially in the hands of children. These dolls are insanely high quality. They articulate so, so nicely. I do, my biggest complaint about these dolls is that they can't sit. It really does limit photography, display, and play options. This doll can stand on her own. It's just that her hair is slightly wet right now, so that's why I have her on a stand. Harmonique is actually standing on her own just fine right now. And she doesn't have any of the issues that Riviera has, in my opinion, because her bubble ponytail really keeps its style very well. I wish that Riviera maybe had some kind of bottom ponytail in place so that her hair would stay in place while still being really voluminous and beautiful, because I love this hair texture and I'm glad to see it represented. Um, I'd also like to let you know that these two are sisters. I wasn't sure if I was allowed to read that information that I was given in my review, but there it is. These are sisters, which is so fun and they are a songwriting duo, so she is the singer and she is the songwriter and guitarist, so I'm really interested to see where that goes. I assume they probably do the theme song for Mermaids, and I'm just so excited, and I really, really hope that you guys are excited too. I will be posting another video that I'm not sure if it's going to be a review or something else around the time that the pre-orders are actually going to open up so that you guys will be fully informed and reminded with any information that I get. And that's it for this video. Oh, one more thing. I knew someone would ask, so this is what a mermaid high looks like next to Mermaids Mermaids. See Oceana here in her eyes. She does have a painted eye look. That's what she looks like. I will say that um, these dolls are more versatile, but I prefer just a mermaid. Like I. I prefer for my mermaid dolls to just be mermaids, like they don't have to be transformable into people, but I really wish that we had the sitting joint at least, and I would really love a knee joint too, but these are so so fun, and the color change feature actually works, which is shocking to me because I've had a lot of dolls with color change features that don't work at all.
all right that's it for this video thank you guys so so much for watching and please let me know what you guys think i would absolutely love to hear from you i'm so so excited about these and i really really hope that you guys are too and again thank you so so much for mga or to mga for sending me these so that i could review them for you guys i am so so grateful and i hope that you guys love them thank you guys so so much for watching for all this time bye